Hi, welcome to a new series of videos. This time it's on a very interesting MCP client library called MCP-Use. I think after seeing all the other MCP clients, this is one of the simplest. Okay, and it has become extremely popular in a very short span of time. So if you look at the stars, you will notice that, you know, last one week, it has got over 1500 stars in GitHub. It is really catching up. So, let's go over the features and then we will see uh, how we can run it because I have tested all these. Welcome to Techie Talks AI. I am Sri from Shogani. On this channel, we bring you hands-on demonstrations and insights into the latest tools and trends to help you get started with ease. Don't forget to subscribe and be a part of our journey into the future of technology. Library variations. Okay, so it's called mcp-use. So if you want to install pip, install mcp-use. Okay, so these are the features. Ease of use, just six lines of code. LLM flexibility, it will work with most of the LLM. It has got HTTP support, so this is very interesting. This makes SSC clients SSC transport based clients very easy. Then some new features which I have not seen in other MCP clients like dynamic server selection. This is there even in Agno multi server support, but this is another interesting thing where tool restrictions you can limit access to certain tools from within the agent. Okay, so it's very simple to use. So here is the sample code using Playwright. Playwright is a Selenium-like application where from your uh, program you can access um, a headless browser and browse websites, submit forms, etc. Okay, so let's try this example. It's an STD I/O based MCP server connection. So here is the MCP server definition. So we are using a Node.js based MCP server called Playwright. So here we are passing this dictionary here and we are creating the client. So the MCP client object is created using the MCP client library from MCP use. Clear? So this part is clear. Next is we define the open AI object. So that is the second thing. And, and the third thing is we create the agent. Okay. And that agent has the LLM and the client and max steps and there can be some more parameters which we will see. Max, max steps will decide how many times you should retry. Okay, that is it. Just three lines you define the agent that has access to MCP client. And even for SSC clients, it is as simple as this. I have tested it. Okay, so now here, get the latest five AI news. We are not telling from where. So it will use the playwright to browse Google News. Main stdio so this is how to run the conda environment okay so it has started the browser it has started the browser and accessed this automatically okay and then it gave the results nicely formatted here are the five uh, ai news headlines okay so, just few lines of code. I think this is the one of the simplest MCP clients, agentic MCP client that we can create using MCP-use library. So, let's see what next. Okay, so that we have seen. Now, Airbnb. Okay, so Airbnb search. Let's first run it. So, this is how to run it in a conda environment which is python and node okay series 
calling Airbnb search tool, tool call. It found one location and this is the URL to the accommodation. So what is the difference in this Airbnb example? In Airbnb example, we are not defining the JSON uh, for the MCP server parameter. We are loading it from another file. So, so here instead of uh, MCP client from dictionary, we are using MCP client from config file. Earlier, we have used MCP client from dictionary. See this, that is the difference. Rest of the uh, lines are identical. But the prompt is different. See, find me a nice place to, st to stay in Barcelona for two adults for a week in August. I prefer places with a pool and good reviews. Show me the top three options. It may not get top three in all search cases, like we saw in our case. So, so here, but the point is, we are showing the simplicity of creating MCP clients. Blender 3D creation. So here, we are using a Blender MCP server. Okay, but for this, you need to have Blender installed and uh, the MCP server also running. So this we saw, the configuration file support. And then comes the SSE protocol. That we will see it in the next video. So there we will have to run an MCP server before we can test it. I have already tested it. Please remember to watch the next video. So that is it for this first video on MCP use. There will be a couple of more videos exploring all other possibilities. So thank you for your time. Please give your valuable comments and please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.